Hello and welcome back to a new Biber Hunter scale models video. Today I would like to show you how I painted one of the new ultra realistic resin printed tree swamps of Bergswerk models. After I decided on one, I first removed a few small things and residues from the printing, which was not much to do. Then I cleaned it with soapy water to remove residues from the print, dust or grease fingers and rinsed it with clear water. And this is what it looked like after I primed it off camera with rattle can primer. And in the background you can see the paints and products I want to use for this project. I started with AK's leather brown to base paint the wooden parts with my airbrush. These are not just any random model tree trunks. Marco from Bergswerk and I are almost neighbors and in our surroundings there is a well-known forest area called the Sichelner Höhen. And Marco was out there and photographing tree stumps, creating 3D models and then printing them. So it is a very special project for me because it is not impossible that I pass exactly this tree trunk that I am painting here on my next walk through the Höhen. I used Vallejo's brown grey as the base paint for the ground, as it came close to the AK enamels I wanted to use to paint the forest ground. And this is how it looked after these two steps. After getting some good reference photos I was good to go. I started with AK Damp Earth enamels for the base color. I diluted it with thinner and painted the whole ground with it. Then I worked the slightly lighter earth enamel from Ammo into the still wet paint to achieve more variation. This paint was also diluted with thinner. If the first layer is still wet, it literally blends itself into it. And the darker Ammo damp earth was also applied wet and wet, especially around the tree stump where the darker areas would be. And to achieve even more variation and shade, I added some dark brown wash from AK. This mixture was also applied around the tree stump and sporadically on the base. And since I was just so nice messy with the enamels, I gave the wooden parts a wash to set the first accent. After everything was dry, I painted the wooden parts of the tree stump with old wood as a base paint. And don't forget the dead wood on the ground. Then I painted the first wood grain with AK's wood base. Here I just made random vertical brush strokes. The sawing points were supposed to become brighter and brighter from the inside to the outside. Then I worked the bark and wood with diluted mahogany brown to give the whole thing a warmer look. With high red I made a wash to emphasize the deeper places of the bark and between the saw cuts. And the trunk got a wooden look again. Then I took a light color again and continued to paint wood grain with vertical random brush strokes. More wood grain with AK cork. Then I again grabbed me high red to emphasize the deeper spots. And again with light mud, uh, lighter paint. 
This switching back and forth gave me a better sense of where I was standing. And as a final highlight, AK's buff. The bug received a wash with dark grey, because my reference pictures showed that it usually is dark with different shades of grey. And to get even darker and suppress a slight shine, I made a glaze diluted with black with ultra matte varnish and I was satisfied with the result. The dead wood was also aligned in this way. Then I could make a dry brush with deck tan to emphasize the raised spots and I came really close to my template this way and was very happy with the result. For this task I cut off an old brush very short to make the dry brush spot on. For the dead wood and hard to reach places I used a smaller brush. For a more natural look I then made a dry brush with golden olive. The tree stump should not look freshly felt but also not as if it has been rotting for years so I could not overdo it here. I wanted to depict the forest floor as realistically as possible and so I applied some real earth from my garden and spread it with a soft brush. Then I flooded it with lacquer thinner to break the surface tension and fixed everything with VMS sand and ballast trees. While everything was still wet, I applied some cut sanitary hemp, which should represent plants and grass remnants as a natural flo forest floor. To adapt the dried earth to the base, I applied heavily diluted enamels again. First ammo earth, then damp earth and again applied wet and wet. For an even more realistic result, I wanted to depict some moss. I applied with a brush wood glue exactly where I wanted the moss to be, sprinkled the places with fine turf from Woodland Scenics and knocked off the excess. An airbrush is helpful here too. And again the dead wood was treated also. doesn't look that bad already. I repeated the same steps with grinded spices to depict leaf residues on the forest floor. Looks good, smells even better. The moss was painted with diluted golden olive which runs great into the fine turf. For more variation I gave here and there diluted German camouflage bright green into the still damp golden olive so the moss had several shades of green. To frame the moss a bit and represent dead moss I applied a dark brown paint in the still wet green paint. And I have to say, I'm very happy with the result. All that was left to do now was to paint the edge with black acrylic paint to limit the base and have a clean finish. Also from Bergswerk models are these mushrooms that I could use for the scene to add more details. So with the help of reference photos I painted these champignons 
Fly Agarics and Beats and Chanterelles. This beautiful designed mushroom species gives the scene a real kick and should soon be available at Bergswerk. Last important details. Painting the mushrooms was a challenge for me. On the one hand because I had no experience with it until now, on the other hand because of the sights. Not less challenging was this beautifully printed fox by Bergswerk. It's the first animal I've ever painted and creating a beautiful fur texture was very tricky for me. I also can say that I'm 100% satisfied with the result, so I want to see this here less as a tutorial but more as a short documentation. But after all you can see what kind of animal it is, at least I hope. And so I was able to put everything together to this beautiful scene. I am very satisfied with the overall look. Marco has created really beautiful products here. If you like them as much as I do, check out Bergswerk models online. And thank you very much for watching my video. I would be very happy about your constructive criticism. And if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing. Thank you, goodbye and stay safe.